Hill House Vice President Joe Biden. A Philadelphia man is behind bars now, charged with threatening to kill House Minority Whip Eric Cantor and his family. In a rambling video that's now been removed from YouTube, 38-year-old Norman Laboon says, quote, Remember, Eric, you are a liar. You're a Lucifer. You're a pig, a greedy, expletive pig. You're an abomination. You receive my bullets in your office. Remember, they will be placed in your heads. You and your children are Lucifer's abominations. This is the first arrest after a rash of violence and threats aimed at lawmakers, mostly Democrats, for their vote on the health care bill. At least 10 Democratic lawmakers say they've been threatened in some way. Joining us now is executive security expert Eric Konohia. He's president and CEO of BPI Group. Uh, Eric, are you responsible for the protection for all sorts of celebrities and VIPs? What's more threatening in your mind, these militia groups or the, the crazy lone gunman like the guy who was threatening Eric Cantor? Actually, David, I think that both of them pose the it's somewhat the same type of threat. Um, the issue with the entity um, militia groups is that some of these groups intermingle with other groups, and it's tough to to keep a track on what their motivations are, what they're doing in terms of within other groups, and what type of uh, um, ideas they're coming up with in terms of attacks. The lone wolf, on the other hand, this gentleman in Philadelphia was was easy because he outwardly came out and said that he was going to do something. What what bothers us the most are the ones that you don't hear about that are sitting back in different types of rhetoric or or um, that type of um, speaking, they may feel sy or sympathize with what he's doing and may want to act out. Those are the ones you can't really track. What sort of advice is being given to these members of Congress who have gotten the threats in terms of what they should be doing, what they should be on the lookout for? I'm, I'm certain that the Capitol Hill police and the FBI have already started educating the uh, congressmen in terms of being more vigilant with their daily activities because all of the congressmen are not afforded dignitary protection within the, um, the U.S. Capitol. Only the um, leaders on both sides of the house get that so they're probably telling them more than likely to be more vigilant on their day on their daily um, comings and goings be more vigilant maybe change in route plan their routes back and forth to work and being more more cognizant of what's going on around them um, we saw of course last week that some people were throwing bricks through uh, through windows in your experience does that sort of violence then tend to translate to more threats more specific acts against VIPs in in, in some instances it could be just a lone wolf or just a a, a, a one-time incident but it would in my in my professional opinion it would spark a, a reason to be more vigilant in terms of um, investigating the situation doing a threat assessment on that act it's it, that act itself the problem with it is that it came right during the time that the um, health bill came out so there was a primer or an incident that ignited those people to to do the things they're doing so that would be a cause for concern so the key question then is whether this stuff then continues in, a, in an environment that is absent of some big controversial piece absolutely of Absolutely, absolutely. Those, those incidents like that may not, those people may have been thwarted in terms of what they're trying to do, but it may ignite someone else who empathizes or sympathizes with their cause to do something else. Eric Conahia is a security expert, president of uh, BP, president and CEO of BPI Group. Eric, thanks for coming in. We appreciate thanks, it. David. An Arizona community is reeling from news that a rancher was shot to death allegedly by an illegal.